What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today I thought I would do a short spirited talk on Applejack, seeing as October is Applejack month and I think that we should just do like a little intro to Applejack. So as you see, I have two bottles here. Uh, the first bottle is Laird's Applejack. The thing about Applejack, the story of Applejack is intertwined with the story of the Laird family. Uh, Robert Laird was a Scotsman that settled in the Colts Neck Township of New Jersey, which is in Monmouth County, in 1698, and people in his family have been there ever since. This is the oldest distillery in the United States. It got, actually it got license number one in 1780, and they have been in production ever since. Uh, but I want to tell you a little bit about what Applejack is. See, Applejack was America's first distilled spirit before we were making whiskey, before we were making anything else. So the history of distillation in the United States is a little bit hard to track. Um, but going back through history, you can find that basically what happened was that distillation was taught. I mean, not really taught to the Americans because everybody was an immigrant in this country at the time. But a lot of the first Scottish, Irish immigrants came to this country and began to distill. And what they began to distill from first was apples because we have a lot of apples. We had a surplus of apples and we were trying to figure out something to distill. And so we distill those apples to make basically what is a brandy. Um, the, apple, the apple jack gets its name from the process of what's called jacking. So basically what would be done was a big cask or big barrel of apple cider would be buried in the ground during the winter time. It would be buried pretty deep and basically as the ground froze, the apple cider inside would be fermenting. And so after a few weeks they would pull out they would pull out this this barrel and they would strip the uh, wood off or they would take that, that ice out of the wood and it would just be completely frozen solid. But then it, when they drill inside in the middle of that uh, block of ice, there would be a liquid alcohol center. The thing is, is that just making brandy that way is you just get a lot of unwanted uh, chemicals inside your, you know, and it's, it's very bad for you. So that is what Applejack takes its name from. Uh, and then it became later on as time progressed, a distilled spirit. Um, Robert Laird actually fought in the Continental Army under George Washington. And after he served, Washington, who owned a bunch of apple orchards, actually wrote to Robert Laird and asked for his Applejack recipe, which I'm not sure that he gave him. Uh, also, it is said that the Lairds have a bill of fare from um, uh, from uh, Abe Lincoln, when Abe Lincoln went to go drink in a tavern and bought, I think, like a quart of Applejack for 12 cents. Uh, that's what I got for you. Nowadays, Applejack, just like a lot of distillation, has been um, made into a craft product. There's a ton of wonderful craft brands that are sort of making these things. Layered's Applejack is still in is still in production, but I came upon this Arkansas Black Applejack, which is made on Treasure Island, which is right in the bay over by San Francisco. And uh, these guys also come from an Applejack making family. Actually, the woman who well, the co-owns this distillery with her husband, there are so many flies. There's like a lot of bar flies in here today. It's pretty crazy. I didn't even leave the doors open or anything. Anyway, now that they're gone, or over there anyway. Um, the woman who owns this distillery with her husband, her grandfather uh, also distilled Applejack and she decided to carry on the tradition. I really like it. So I thought that this month we would make a, um, a, a bunch of Applejack. You're just gonna start to see a few more Applejack recipes than you normally would just to celebrate Applejack month. And it's the beginning of fall and apples are a great fall staple and flavor profile. Um, hopefully that wasn't too rambling. I will do probably a deeper dive on Applejack and its history and the history of the Laird family um, probably at another time, but I just wanted to post this for you guys uh, at the beginning of Applejack month just because it's timely. All right, guys, I'll see you later in the month with some Applejack recipes.